Hello and welcome to Khyal Agra Market. As usual, we are going to wait around a little bit before people come in and what a day. I mean, this, this is like the height of Bak Padal Gai, Jasbaz Padal Gai and all that. So, so um, I, oh yeah, this is not uh, 15th, 14th September, it's 15th September. Um, I won't mind. One second, I think I have done something. I'll just, I think I know what I did. I overwrote yesterday's notes with today's notes. Too. This is like my first event for me. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 that's what I did. So, yesterday's analysis said that. Nifty and Bank Nifty both capped up and formed a doji indecision above the blue trend line of on 17800 is a buy, right? So basically we closed yesterday saying that boss, dekho, the market ka gap move could be fake. Uh, we thought that this is very highly likely to bounce back after open. I mean, it's not like I knew for a fact or something. But for whatever reason, we thought that that is uh, very uh, likely, right? Uh, so uh, we thought that if it's above... Uh, yeah, 18,000 cut trend line, the blue trend line, we'll buy, otherwise we'll sell. And this is our analysis for yesterday. Now, uh, uh, the catch, of course, is... Uh, uh, so, let me open with one line, right? See, the most important characteristic of a bull market that I've always seen in my, uh, you know, entire, you know, little bit of trading career is that a bull market ignores bad news. A bull market ignores overnight negative news. It ignores global queues. People will say uh, decoupling, yay, wo, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Now, uh, this is a classic bull market, right? Why do I think it's a bull market? Because I don't know what has made it fall in the last n number of months. Look at it, right? Federal Reserve hiked 75 basis uh, point uh, uh, hike, but no effect. Then we had bad GDP data. Then we had bad inflation data. Then we had horrible uh, data uh, about um, the US CPI. Right? Everything was bad. Right? There was nothing good about this market at all since uh, God knows forever. And yet, market kept on going up at every stage. Right? So, we thought yesterday that the strategy to do <coughs> is... Direct trade is sell put on bull put spread. If there is support on open, we can also do bull call spreads. Now that of course turned out right. We also said that the worst thing to do today was to uh, buy a put. The best thing to do probably is to sell a put, right? So all of that worked out well. And now my view is a little bit more bullish than it used to be, simply because of the fact that yeah, if all of this cannot bring the market down, I don't think anything can bring the market down, at least in the near term, right? And therefore, it makes a lot of sense to stay long above the blue trend line. Now, let's look at today's analysis. Now, point number one is that Nifty and Bank Nifty both have formed what is called a bullish Marubozu can after taking support from the blue trend line. So, I'll shift my Nifty uh, chart to futures because that's what seems to be going. And look at this, right? It's exactly on that blue trend line, dude. I mean, like, it's unbelievable, right? Sometimes I wonder, ki chal kya rahe, right? Is it because we are all following that it is working or is it because it is working that we are all following? But anyway, bang at the bottom of this blue trend line, Nifty gave an open and it then gave a rise all the way to yesterday's high. And then it settled down a little bit, half a percent down, but spectacular recovery with good volumes, right? And that's important. Now, let's also look at apna hourly charts. You can see this, right? It also took support from the hourly. So, today's majority volumes was the buy volume that happened at the bottom of the market at the 50 hourly moving average. So, it's pretty very, very evident that 17800 peto blue line hai. Right? It's not going to cross. Now, let's look at Bank Nifty. Look at this, right? Again, it touched the blue line, went up again. Now, Bank Nifty is forming a bearish, sorry, bullish engulfing also. Because... You can see this, right? In fact, I, I'd say uh, if the is an engulfing is a bullish engulfing too. 
सो बोथ ऑफ दीज चार्ट आर वेरी क्लियरली रिफ्लेक्टिव की बॉस ऊपर ही तो जाना है और कुछ नहीं करेंगे नाउ लेट्स लुक एट ऑप्शन चेंज now only there is very mixed because today there was a lot of call writing but that is towards the morning right so this is important if you look at this chart you will think that aaj ka market to kafi kharab tha but if you look at this chart you will see that almost all of call writing happened in the morning and if you drag the time frame to something like 10 am 10 am ke baad kya hua you won't see any call writing so subah subah jisne jitne logo ko call bechna tha sab bech diye but uske baad kuch nahi bika call and eventually after 10 o'clock today it's a very very secular uh, call writing call unwinding market right you can see this very clearly here so whenever you look at this data right please make sure that you're looking at it in all time frames because if you had looked at this you would have thought that this is a uh, uh, bullish bearish market right but it's not really bearish market it's a bullish market so let me write that down also um call selling only in the morning uh after 10 am 10:30 pakad lete hai yaar bhai risk le raha hai calls unwound so did puts so there's not uh, i mean both of them unwound pcr is 1.1 uh but it's mildly bullish but there is a massive resistance above 18100 right that also you can see from here it's very clear that 18100 ke upar there is a lot of resistance but 18000 is even steven 17900 ke niche the support zone zone is looking like 17900 to 18100 seems to be the zone right um 17900 to 18100 is the expiry zone likely is a likely expense right likely bol sakte hai aur life mein kya bharosa hai kisi cheez ka right now finally <coughs> let us go to uh, uh the fid data fid ne aap tod ke becha calls lot of calls in uh, hardly any put buying uh sorry put put so lot of call put buying not much call buying in fact i would say it's very bearish fid it is super bearish because 43000 calls sold and 56000 puts bought there's almost a lack in net <coughs> bearish position so this is mega bearish right so fi data is actually very bearish i'm not even saying it's mildly bearish but then again we have to go back to ki kitne baje becha subah becha ki shaam ko becha and all that uh, but theek hai chalo and uh, futures data is fi 2004 sell bearish Finally, stock data is 1400 crore sell bearish. So FII data is fully negative. So basically, my verdict may my my problem is that the chart is positive, OI is neutral, FII is negative. So Nifty. So now the problem is this, right? Nifty and Bank Nifty are bullish above the blue trend line, but it's kind of mixed because chart is positive, OI is neutral, FII is negative. Uh, maybe after tomorrow's expiry we'll see a very different fii adi data profile so maybe you can just see tomorrow or pass right because kal ke baad shayad fii option data completely badal jaye right so um, so that's one thing and finally my trades are ki yaar mere ko trade kal nahi karna ki aaj if you sold at the but net net right it is better to stay long than short now i'll also to say one more thing in this market it is okay to keep your position size small why because essentially if you are long the bet you are taking is that you are playing for a breakout now when a breakout happens the movement will be very big right if you are getting a very big movement you don't need a big position size in the sense that if movement is only 100 points you will capture on five lots 500 points But if movement is going to be 500 points on one lot, you can capture 500 points, right? So in a very big breakout kind of an environment, you don't have to bet big. You can have small position size and get a lot of money, right? So uh, if your trade hypothesis is that past market is good bearish, then my suggestion is that keep your position size light and don't do put sell or put spreads because you are planning a big move, right? Whenever you are playing a big move, you have to do debit spreads. basically you have to pay the premium when you are playing big moves which means buy call bull call spread etc etc right um, so so i'll i'll just illustrate because uh, some uh, 
there's been some interest in this so um i'll, I'll give a couple of interesting strategies to do this thing uh, because uh, one of my friends in twitter have been asking for it and i'm like wondering here why don't i show strategies in sensible so here's the deal right if you do a bull call spread your rr is 2 is to 1 right i'm not saying do this bull call spread <coughs> but i'm saying in general right up kal ke baad or whenever you are doing this if you do a bull call spread your rr is normally better than um <coughs> so this is 0.5 which means you are getting 6k for uh, risking 3k right but if you do the same thing in a bull put spread your rr is basically very low right look at this one right this is only giving 3k for almost 8k so this is bad rr 1 is to 3 almost right so if you are playing a big move always play a put spread and not this thing so i can give you another interesting trade to do in case you are thinking that upar jayega and so let's say that your market you the 18200 jayega nahi to hilega hi nahi right then i can give you an interesting strategy to do which is a condor not an iron condor a condor and i will give you the difference of that so look at this strategy right so let's do it for 22nd september right and you, your view is that nifty will go between 18300 and 18500 something like that right so i can buy this call 18200 ka call then i'll sell 18300 ka call then i'll sell 18400 ka call and then i'll buy 18500 ka call right or i can i mean i can play around right i mean there's nothing no hard and fast rules here i can make it a little bit more wider mm -hmm. right now this is an interesting strategy a condor because the rr here is super because look at this right 1500 you are risking 6k you are getting and if nifty expires anywhere between 1 and 1/2 to 3 and 1/2% you will make this money and you can even you can even make it more interesting by playing around with the strikes and all that i'll leave up to you uh, uh, so for example yeah okay. right i mean or 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 if you want right make it like 18 so if you, if you are thinking that this is all for a big move so if you look at this trade again rr is 3 to 1 right and anywhere in this big range so it's a decent idea to play a, a, a breakout and your loss is not that much right you can only lose around 3k whereas if you do a, a sing, simple buy option right and this is where it comes into picture right forget everything right tomorrow if you buy a simple um, buy call of sub september 18200 the issue here is that you lose around 5k and uh, <coughs> at uh, 3% or something you will make 13k that is great but the problem is that if this thing falls you will lose some kind of a theta dk which doesn't happen in that condor wala so if your idea is that beach mein ja ke will give a range then um <laughs> yeah i mean maggi is saying sorry somebody saying move dekh ke aaj kuch aur lag raha hai right but the point is you can do this kind of stuff like in the sense that see if you don't want to risk too much there's always a slightly smarter strategy to do right i mean you can even reduce the premium on this thing by probably pushing it further right so this is even lower premium 2000 is your maximum risk your uh, return can be 8k like, like either a lot of playing around you can do with it but the good thing i like about this trade right is that let's say you are proven wrong and nifty corrects like one uh, one 1% right a full 1% this thing only loses around 1000 bucks whereas if you buy this 18300 cup call per lot you will lose 2000 bucks right so of course yes if nifty went to 18800 and all you will regret doing the limited uh trade with condor but uh you know if you think that it's only going to be a 300 400 point move on the upside it's better to do a condor right uh, so i mean i would say stay on the long side uh stay with smaller position sizing stay with good rr because we are playing a breakout uh and of course do risk management because in 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 very um violent up moves right it can so happen that market can just uh have corrections also and that could be a big problem i'm trying to increase my volume is this better now here yeah, the volume for the last two days have been acting weird because of the background noise i think 
I mean, it's actually a very good mic. I don't know what has happened to it in the last two days. Only it is creating all this problem. I'll just look at it. And one more last thing is USD INR. Uh, see, yesterday we talked about this, right? We said that USD INR is now testing the 50 DMA, and we said that. <coughs> USDNR might just give you a very nice shorting opportunity here. So if you looked at today's market moment, USDNR was up 0.65%, 0.7% in the morning and then it fell almost half the gap, right? So uh, basically risk is being favorited by the market again. Uh, people are again happy to take risks. So long equity, long bank nifty, long nifty, short dollar is the way to go but whatever you do please keep your position size in control because we are looking at very big moves you don't need big position to capture big moves you can do it with small position right so that is our read on the market today we'll see you again tomorrow as usual this is not tips advice any of that stuff this is just analysis so that you know we can have instead of being lottery buyers we can be card players who count cards in a casino something like that so so that is our uh, read on the market we'll see you again tomorrow as usual uh, please do trading with responsibility. Please do trading with risk management. Please do trading. Uh, please don't do trading at the cost of your uh, health. You know, that is most important to have a stress free, happy life. I mean, there's no point in making all the money trading if that is not taken care of.